Did you know you can reverse your heart's age? Well, I'm Dr. Steve Kopetsky, a preventive cardiologist at Mayo Clinic, and after surviving two bouts of cancer, I tried to find out what types of behaviors people could adopt to avoid disease, avoid illness, and live a long life. Now let's get into it. You can actually help the arteries in your heart open up to supply more blood to your heart muscle. How do you do that? Studies have looked at this repeatedly, and the studies that have been successful have really done three things. First off, they've treated the obvious. What's the obvious? Well, it's stopping the smoking. It's controlling the cholesterol. It's losing some weight. It's getting some exercise. It's taking care of blood pressure, taking care of the diabetes. So follow the medicines that you need to be on and take them. The second thing all the studies have done is address diet and address physical activity. The diet, there are many diets that can work. We always recommend Mediterranean, but it can be a high fat, it can be a high carb, as long as it's a healthy fruit, vegetables, legumes. DASH diet, which has less sodium or salt in it, also very good. It's like a Mediterranean, but with less sodium. And then finally, the third thing all the studies have done is something very important, and it's manage stress. Why is that? Because stress permeates everything we do. When we have high stress, we don't handle everything else very well. We don't take our meds. We don't treat the obvious. We don't eat well. We're not as active physically. So you can do these things. It takes a while. It takes small steps, little habit change over months, if not years, but you can actually have your arteries to your heart open up. So we've talked about the three key issues. Let's go back to the first one, treating the obvious. What do I mean by that? Well, take care of uncontrolled blood pressure. What's the best blood pressure? In general, it's less than 130 on the top and 80 on the bottom. I recommend everybody get a blood pressure cuff. You can buy them at the grocery or at the, at the stores. Put it on your arm and check it. It'll hook up to your smartphone. It'll record it, it'll average it, it'll send it to your caregiver. Try to keep it less than 130 over 80. And a lot of times people come to me and say, you know, mine's just a little bit high, isn't that okay? I say, the, you know, the answer there is that your heart beats 100,000 times a day. So even minor elevations of blood pressure get magnified 100,000 times. So it's really important to try to keep it lower. And remember, your risk of heart attack and stroke goes up above a top number of 115, 115. I have many patients that come to me and say, oh, my, my blood pressure is too low. It's 118. I say, well, actually, that's a little bit high. The other thing is cholesterol. Cholesterol is an in interesting part of our body because we're mammals and every cell in our body needs to have cholesterol every day. The average human has 37 trillion cells as an adult in our body and each one almost needs thousands of doses of cholesterol every day. So there is large amounts of cholesterol running around our bloodstream all the time. It's not bad, it's only unhealthy for us if we have too much. So what's too much? When we're born, our low density lipoprotein or LDL is about 50. If you have a heart attack, we try to get it back to 50. What's the average cholesterol when someone has a heart attack in this country? LDL of 105. Many people think that's normal. Well, it's not normal, it's average, but it's still too high. So we talked about the obvious things to take care of, and why do you wanna do it? Because your heart will love it, and your heart will love you for doing it. And guess what? It'll be with you for a long, long time. To learn more about this topic and so much more, check out my book, Live Younger Longer, written by me, Dr. Stephen Kopetsky. You can find the book, at mcpress.mailclinic.org or wherever you buy books. Thanks for listening. See you next time.